right, here we are on the bus today. It's still kind of chilly outside, but so we're going to take all the windows out and clean them up and recock them because I know some of them are leaking. And, uh, and even if they aren't now, they probably will be down the road. So we want to pre uh, prevent all that while we can. So uh, even though it's cold outside, I think the plan is, we'll see. Hopeful. Is, yeah, hopeful. Fingers crossed. And your toes and everything. Take it out of the windows, scrape all the caulking off them, um, and eventually, well, not today, but quickly down the road before we paint the whole entire bus, paint the windows. I think we'll just get the windows cleaned up and put back in today, and they may leak a little bit, but as you can see, there's not a whole lot here I have to worry about spoiling right now. And then when we paint the bus, pull the windows out so you don't have to mask them, paint the entire bus, and that way we can recock them and reseal them. So today's process is window removal. Removal and cleaning. All right. Cool. All right, take out the windows. Undo these screws like that. I found getting started with this, you get a really thin edged pry bar. Pop that in. Kind of get it started. Follow it up with a little thicker screws if you want. Give it a little pry and same thing on the other side. Silicone, and then I open the window. Oh, tilt it out. And then reach with a knife and cut the silicone out on the other side. It's a little bit different. Not really so proud at the top, but you also there's these four screws across the bottom. They have to take out. And this little latch piece. to mark these windows in case, I don't know, they fit a little bit differently. Should yeah. uh, three. That's a three? It's a three. You're, you're, you're supposed to have penmanship as English. <laughs> I can't have penmanship. Okay. I thought so it was a, a seagull or a I'm W. Can see me on the camera. Oh. Yeah, we can. So I took a, a dry erase marker because I didn't have a grease pencil and I labeled all the windows just in case I wanted to switch them out. And then most of in this bus, I guess other people's buses are, have different size windows, but ours are pretty much the same, even the emergency exit, except for the last, is next to the last window down there. See that next to the last one is longer. <laughs> I think that's, I don't know why it's longer there. I think it's where the heater was. Yeah, that's where the heater was. Alright, you're back on. Alright, so now the challenge is cleaning all this stuff up. So now we're going to work on cleaning all this stuff out of here. Some stuff up in, up in here. And Julie's going like crazy here. Yeah, crazy. Going like crazy! Totally clean or a little yeah, bit Yeah, totally clean. clean. Okay. Otherwise it won't be water. Exactly. Tight, yeah. Then we get the 
caulking off the bottom of this, finding a, taking an X-Acto knife, scraping as much as you can off. Without impaling oneself, I think would be good. I appreciate that. <laughs> Under the thicker stuff off, a little blast of W40 on the top. Help loosen up this really stubborn stuff. Let's sit for a couple minutes and then take it off. How's it going, babes? Are wicked fun? So much fun. It's <laughs> alright. Making way. Making way. Every once in a while, you get a long piece off. <laughs> but for the most part, no. Tedious. <laughs> doing a brainless job. <laughs> I don't have to think, I just have to get her done. Okay, so we got the windows all out of the bus and uh, you know, scraped as much of the silicone off the sills and the bus as we could and I washed them down yesterday. So now I got the windows in here and again, it's cold outside. I love to use a pressure washer and a hose, but it's pretty chilly out there, so I'm gonna use the next best thing in the bathtub. Um, so I got a couple of scrubby brushes here. I got some hot soapy water. It's just dawn. We'll see how I use and, and we we'll get these cleaned up. Um, I'm hoping I'm gonna use an etch primer to uh, paint the outsides to match the color of the bus, whatever color that's gonna be eventually. And then I haven't decided what we're gonna do on the inside yet. I'm supposed to prime them that way we can paint them kind of whatever color. I don't know if I'll do it all at once or not. So. Okay, Julie did a great job getting all that silicone off there. That was a... I'm not sure if even all of it was silicone. I think some of the stuff that they redone later on was probably that. But I think a lot of it was just butyl tape. But that, that was tricky getting off too. It's not really that exciting, is it? I suppose that's one of the things about schooly conversions is a whole bunch of projects that really aren't super exciting just to get to the ones that are. One. That's kind of a tedious process. Only like 20 more to go. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna worry about getting the glass really that clean right now because, well, it's gonna get dirty anyway. I'm Too cold today and outside, so we're scrubbing windows inside. More windows. More windows. Remember the commercial, time to make the donuts? If you remember that, let me know in the comments. Time to wash the windows. Whew, I think I'm finally done. Oh, that was quite a project. Uh, this is a 20 something windows, I guess we did. Uh, a couple of them I know we're gonna uh, you know, take out and delete anyway, so I didn't worry about those. But I bet spent uh, eight to 10 hours, I guess. We started last weekend. Julie helped me a little bit, and she's off planning a trip today. So um, plan, on, uh, plan on some time if you wanna clean them all down real good. I'm not sure, honestly, how critical it is to get all that butyl tape off. It just seemed to be the cleaner they are, the better they are. And I wanted to paint them anyway. So I think I'm gonna have to do one more 
coat, probably wash them down with some acetone before I get the primer on there just to make sure everything really sticks, but I've got the bulk of it done. So I uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks a ton for sticking through the process, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Again, if this is helpful at all, hey, like it, subscribe it, share it, do what you do. And until next time, we'll see you either on the river or on the road. Thanks for watching.